We're now joined by Dayton's Mayor, Gary Leitzel. We want to thank you, Mayor, for coming in. We've got a lot of good questions from our viewers, and we've got some burning questions. Uh, let's start with the rail system, because we've had a story all morning long running about the rail system and the possibility of two locations right here in Dayton. Reality check. People want to know, is this really going to happen? Um, I've been to several meetings in the past about it, and, and it's a very good chance it will happen. It, it's, it's a good opportunity. It's, it's going to uh, bring people to Dayton from Columbus and Cincinnati. I think it impacts uh, almost 7 million people in Ohio. It will give them transportation uh, ability between the major cities. Uh, it will create something like 11,000 jobs in Ohio. Uh, you know, it, it's great. I mean, it's a, it's a years ago, the rail business failed to realize that they were in the people transportation business. They got themselves into the freight business and we lost out because airplanes took over. And now with the high cost of fuel and everything, we're, we're reverting back. Whereas in Europe and Japan, they stayed with the trains. Right. So, I mean, it, we, we got to catch up with the rest of the world. All right. We have a question here. I'd like to know what ideas he has regarding making more jobs available in Dayton, uh, says Jenny, corporate retention. Well, th things are already happening. Uh, we, we've recently had Deloitte, Synthes, and Honeywell bring in about 500 jobs to the city. I, th I think what's happening is uh, we're in a recession, and people are looking at consolidating and cutting costs. And Dayton's a great place to be because we have some of the lowest rents available and some of the lowest prices on, on real estate. And I think you're going to find more people, even in the, in the suburbs, are looking at, hey, we're going to move back to Dayton or we're going to look at Dayton because we can cut our, our – uh, expenses on our property leases and stuff. So we may find more of that, which will create voids in the suburbs, but that will give more opportunity for businesses coming into the region. So I, I, I think it will all work together, and I, I, I'm very positive about it. So. And, you know, as far as bringing business to Dayton, perception on crime can be a huge issue. And we have a question now from Lynn, and, and she says, could you do something about the crime, get the guns off the street? I'd like to come to Dayton again, almost as if she's afraid to come to Dayton. I mean, is there a perception out there, Mayor, and how are you tackling that? The, the reality is, uh, with, with the crime, if you are a uh, perpetrator of the crime, you're more likely to become a victim of the crime. We're finding that the majority of the, of the, of the um, major crimes, the murders and the assaults, are uh, drug-related, uh, family-related uh, incidents. And so if you're a regular citizen just going about your business, you're not likely to become a victim. But if you're going up to someone to purchase uh, or make a drug buy or something, then that person may shoot you, beat you up or whatever and, and rob you um, because you're less likely to report it. And so uh, it, ultimately some of these things get reported and so the perception is crime is really bad. It is, I mean, we do have, we do have quality of life crime cars getting their windows smashed and people stealing stuff. Uh, they're usually drug addicted people trying to get three dollars for a CD, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, but the, you know, that, that's everywhere. So uh, one of the reasons I'm here this morning is to let people know that the crime is not as bad as we perceive it to be. It, there are certain neighborhoods that aren't aren't uh, as good as others, but we do have some really excellent neighborhoods that, that would be equal in caliber to Oakwood. All right, Mayor, from JoJo, she asks, getting the priority boards involved in cleaning up trash near our interstates, planting more community gardens, and getting rid of the eyesore properties near our interstates. What would you say to that? Um, actually, I, I've, we're trying to look at, at utilizing um, the prison workers and people that have to do uh, community service more. I, on Tuesday, I went to the Priority Board Chairperson's meeting and I stood up and I said, gentlemen and ladies, I need your help. I'm putting teams of people together. I'm getting volunteers from all over the place wanting to help turn Dayton around. And rather than reinvent the wheel, I want to know what committees you have and uh, whether they're open to the general public because I want to start plugging these people into your committees. I've also talked to the Downtown Dayton Partnership. They have committees, and I'm requesting you know, how many people can be on these committees, what are the committees for, because I've got people that I can plug into them to, uh, to voice their concerns and actually start making a difference. So rather than reinvent the wheel, I'm going to try to utilize what's already in existence, and if that doesn't work, then I'll reinvent the wheel. Right. <laughs> Transparency in government, the huge term now. And uh, how approachable are you, Mayor? I want to let our viewers know what is the best way to reach you or your cabinet. And, and we got to talk about that at some point, about the people you're surrounding yourself mm -hmm. with. But what, what is the best way? Um, well, e email. Um, you can either email me at gary at daytonmayor.org, which is my own email. Um, otherwise, you'd have to do gary.leitzel at cityofdayton.org, and everyone spells my last name wrong. Um, <laughs> 
You can call uh, Jason 333-3653, I believe, mm -hmm. is his number. Office number. Um, if you call 333-3636, that's the commission office, ask to speak to Jason. Jason is my uh, legislative aide, and he just started last week. Okay, because you're still getting people in place, right? Uh, yeah, I, well, he, he's the only person in the office for me. I, we've actually um, eliminated the secretary position. I don't think I need it. So I, I'm leading by example. You know, we talk about cutting costs and everything, and I've said I think I can do this with one person instead of two. Uh, the former mayor had two people. Well, we are glad you're with us today, and we'll do this once a month, reaching out to the mayor and the mayor reaching yeah. out to you with more questions coming in, the, in, uh, in February. Thanks right. for being with us, Mayor. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Mayor.